from the edge or on platforms, so you can just keep pushing them and take your advantage like that. And I think that people just aren't used to it, and I think hopefully they'll uh, kind of like work on the theory more. So going into the next match here, uh, this is Purple, uh, who is a Raleigh Carey area Falco player versus Money Mike from Greensboro. Um, I'm more than sure that this is Bracket, or they wouldn't be playing on the stream. Um, Purple, have you got a chance to play? I know he's a little bit newer. Um, have you got a chance to play him or observe anything about him? Or I don't. I think I played Purple in teams. I don't like today, but I, I haven't like played a lot of the new people. But yeah, uh, Money Mike. People probably saw him on the VG bootcamp stream at uh, Apex. Played Soba Meshi, and and what he won? Yeah, he won. It was a uh, it was very close. It was very close set. He won. Um, they had the Falcon. It was the Falcon kick on Dreamland where everyone got like, freaked out. Where he immediately tweeted afterwards, "Falcon kick was intentional." Yeah, <laughs> that's part of that combo was the tweet, the post combo tweet. Yeah, right. But yeah, uh, Purple. He's newer, and I mean, I, I feel like he's got a lot of good ideas. He, uh, we're accepting him in the family, and oh no. <laughs> and how about the not payday? Not pay, not payday five. We're just skipping the other four, but yeah. Yeah, that's what me and um, that's what me and Mo were talking about during Mike's last tr match on stream was like, like eventually payday is just gonna get to the point where we're skipping so many that it's just gonna be like, now that's what I call payday thirty two. Oh, it's, it's gonna be payday kids bop edition. <laughs> kids bop edition. Kids bopped. Like thirty of those things. So yeah. <laughs> well, there's like a million now. That's what I call musics. There, I think they run. I think they run congruent with each other. Stream, please verify. Google search that, please, stream. We're doing a very serious commentary job here. <laughs> Going into game two, we saw Purple get pretty much utterly decimated by that last game. Uh, almost a solid four. Was that a four stock? I think that was a four stock. Uh, four stock into three stock. But anyway, uh, we saw the, the Fox switch. Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel about Mike's level of like overall control in the spacey matchup? Obviously, he's very comfortable. Yeah, he is usually very comfortable, especially when playing anyone. Um, at his level or even slightly lower but if they're at his level or above it at all he really struggles like versus thorn when he lost to at apex he really struggled just kind of crack he couldn't crack thorn's defense very well and i and i think that i think that the spacey's match will be something that pretty much anyone's gonna have to like work on until the day they die and he lived for a while a couple of years ago in that area where thorn is right so he's had a little bit of experience versus him yeah he could never beat thorn but he got like close several times but uh, I actually I think this counter pick by Purple is pretty interesting because uh, I actually don't like like people think Fox on Stadium is just like an auto win and I think only Fox on Transformations kind of is but look how long it took for the thing to transform it took over a minute and Purple has lost two stocks and this isn't even like a very good Fox transformation and so since Falcon gets all this room to move I mean it's almost like he would have been better off going to like Yoshi's or Fountain which everyone uh, Money Mike didn't ban. Uh, and so I think uh, giving Falcon all that room to move is like still playing to his strengths pretty well. And I think like uh, people that want to counterpick even more cognizant of things like this. Yeah. So how do you feel about the water transformation for uh, Fox? Because I personally feel like this isn't like well outside of the windmill. The windmill is an exception. I feel like this stage is probably the most like non-traditionally Fox instant win transformation. Yeah, I'd say so. The grass isn't terrible either. Um, but yeah. So I mean, we gotta. I think Money Mike tried to grab Purple while he was invincible, and he just kind of got Shino smashed for his troubles. So, I don't know, it's, it's so hard to commentate things like this because, I mean, it's like just early bracket stuff, and Money Mike will just, uh, he can he can kind of just set up really safe zones, and Purple is going to be like missing L cancels or missing conversions out of neutral, and because Mike is just so much more comfortable, he's more likely to just be hitting uh, conversions. Like that's the end of purple like that he's just doing a double jump there because he was kind of worried and he didn't like see like a quick bear conversion so mike could just kind of wait and up air him and like even if they traded he was fine because he was up by so much and it's hard it's hard to commentate like blowouts like that yeah <laughs> and there's not really a lot else you can call him so i apologize